that's a basic tip. A more advanced tip is, um, oh, I went out of order there. Write down a list of the emotional words. Just have a, like a pad of paper that's just for the emotional words and phrases you're gonna come from. I felt three feet tall. This was, so, this was so frustrating, I didn't know what to do. I couldn't sleep at night. Or the relief that happens, you know, and you want the emotional descriptions of the problem and the emotional descriptions of the solution as well, okay? And write those down and take notes of it. A lot of people think that they're just looking for facts and figures. <laughs> You want the emotional descriptions that everybody else is gonna use. They're gonna be more powerful than your own emotional uh, words. You also wanna do, write down the buzzwords and the jargon. Okay, and that's going to show, if you know the buzzwords and the jargon and you're using it in your copy, it shows that you're an expert. But what you wanna then do is every time you use it, spell it out in simple, plain English that as Drayton says, even an idiot can understand. Because what happens there is if they turn around and say, you know, I was thinking about getting this, and they go to the one person who knows more about the subject they do. Does this person know what they're talking about? Yeah, they can see that they do. You explained it, you were correct. But they turn around and say, I trust you. I'm not getting lost in this. This seemed like a complicated thing about medicine, about investing or whatever. So the fact that they explained it in plain, simple English makes me trust the person who's writing it more. You're the expert I actually want to follow.